Welcome back to The Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, The Phoebe Way is about life in Germany for foreigners living in Germany, making life in Germany easier for all of us, sharing information, relevant information to help us navigate this German bureaucratic brouhaha and stress. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the legal updates for the month of July. The topics this month are, for example, more pension for pensioners. There is the increase in the Pflegeversicherung being the long-term care contribution or long-term care insurance contribution. We have the Bürgergeld that is being increased or the Aufstockung being the top-up payment being increased. We'll talk about this in detail in a bit. We also have the Kurzarbeitergeld that has been changed or the rules for the Kurzarbeitergeld that have been changed. We have news on Deutsche Post being the German post office. We have news on the gas speicher umlage being the gas storage le uh, levy. We have news on that as well. We also have updates when it comes to dates when it comes to the e-prescription. Before they were doing a test run on in some federal states. Now it's nationwide. I'll give you the details on that in a bit as well. Of course, since the month of June, we have the Johnson Carter. Some people are mixing it up with Johnson Aufenthalt. I'll clear up the difference with for you guys in a bit towards the end of the video. And also, I have a big announcement for you guys also by the end of the video. If you have listened, this month is for workers. A lot of changes for workers and also more for workers, but also for all of us living in Germany. So... Stay tuned and stick with me to the end of the video. Now let's get into the details. When it comes to the Pflegeversicherung, the contributions have been increased. So the contribution that you that was deducted from your monthly wage has now been increased. When it comes to, for example, people with children, it has been increased from 3.05 to 3.4 percent of their monthly income and then those without children are paying and those without children these have been increased from 3.4 to 4.0 the reason why those without children are paying more is that there is this school of thought that people without children when it comes to old age they have less support from family they have less financial support so they are paying more now to cover them in their old age right Good. So that is that for Plague of Festation. Let's move on to Burger Geld. So the Burger Geld is the minimum income payment, right? So that is like the basic income payment that every um, person who is not able to work or who is not working at the moment is supposed to get. Now, there are some people who are working, working but they don't have enough income. So then the, the Burger Geld is more of a top up for them, you know, so that they have the basic income. So people that are earning between 520 euros and 1000 euros are getting 20% of their income as top up for them to be able to be covered, right? Now, this 20% has been increased to 30% and that is good news and I'm really happy for those who are getting this increment because things are really expensive. Talking about expensive thing, let's come to the gas storage levy. Being the gas price umlage. It used to be uh, 59 cents per megawatt hour and now it's 1 euro 56 I believe. So I'm going to write the right amount here somewhere. But that is the current amount that people are paying, uh, that we are going to be paying for the gas price umlage. So or the gas storage levy. So that is also another thing. Something else that is going to be more expensive is the Deutsche Post services. Um, Deutsche Post is now, let me get the name right. Deutsche Post DHL Group. Deutsche Post DHL Group and their services are also going to be increased. Moving on to Kurzarbeitergeld. Before this, for a company to be able to get Kurzarbeitergeld or to register for Kurzarbeitergeld, 10% of, of the employees, of the staff, should have been getting 10% less of what they were getting as their wages, right? Now, that 10% employees has now been increased to a third. So, a third of the employees should be getting 10% less of their income. So, now the rules for Kurzarbeitergeld have become stricter. 
that is one thing and then the next topic is let me make sure I've covered everything yes talked about this e-prescriptions nationwide so now if you go to your doctor and you present your health insurance card your crown casting card eh? when you present that they at the same time are going to put your information being the prescription that you should be able to get at the apotheker they put it on your card as well so when you go to the apotheker with your card and they read the card they should be able to know which medication you're supposed to get now not all apotheking are going to be able to do this. About 80% are doing it. So let's say if 20% are not going to be doing it. They did the test run in some of the federal states and now it has been spread nationwide. So you don't always have to get the title or the paper. It's now an e-prescription. So yes, we, are come, we have come to the end of the update. Apart from that, this month of July, some of the federal states are, or some of the regions have uh, summer holidays. So just for you to know in case you're applying some holidays month of July it's happening for some states maybe I'll write the states the name of the states somewhere here apart from that let's move on to the difference between Chanson Carter and Chanson Aufenthalt or Chanson Bleibericht last year I believe somewhere in September or so I made a video about the Chanson Bleibericht that was had yet I had was just new at that time I believe and now it's in it's um, valid or it's effective since the 1st of January 2022 I'm going to do a detailed video on the Chanson Aufenthalt or Chanson Bleibericht in uh, the, few, the next few days so if you have not yet subscribed you have not yet um, followed us on TikTok on Instagram subscribed on Facebook please do all right and also now we have a website the phoebeway.de I'm going to talk about that also in a bit. But let's get back to the Chancenbleibericht. The Chancenbleibericht is for people who have the duldung, who have been tolerated and have been in Germany from 1st January 2017. So that is it. And for that, once you are eligible for that, I'm going to talk about the details for eligibility as well. But usually, normally it's that you shouldn't have committed a crime. You should have done uh, your German um, A1 and blah, 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 blah. But this is more for those with Duldung, right? And after a year, you are given the chance to um, present your Deutsch, uh, Deutsch course. There should be A2 that you are working and all that. Because once you get the first level you're also allowed to work so you should be working and you should be getting um you should be covering your your finances most of them by yourself actually so that is the chancen bleibericht or chancen aufenthalt it is more about those in Duldung having the chance to get their legal stay in germany after staying in germany for five years right so that is it. So if by January 2022, you were already five years in Germany, you are eligible. The good thing about the Schossenbleiberecht or Schossenaufenthalt is that if one person in your family is eligible for it, if one person qualifies, it covers the whole nuclear family. So let's say the wife was in Germany 2016. By 2022, she definitely qualified. She never had a criminal record. She didn't start anything. Um, anything illegal she she always made sure that she's in Duldung and all of that that person is eligible for it and if um, she's covered she covers her whole family now the Chanson Karte the one that was um, that was made law on the 23rd of June is something totally different it's more like the blue card updated you know it talks about this people are talking about the point system that people from outside should be able to get to Germany to find work and work. So now you don't even necess you don't necessarily need a work contract. Even just coming to Germany to work is going to be easier. Coming to Germany to learn the language is going to be easier and all of that. So that those are the two different Schonson Schonson things that are going on. So let's clarify that. Okay, that is it. We have the Schonson Karte for people coming to Germany and we have the Schonson Bleiberecht for, for people in Germany but without um, a legal state just being tolerated on Duldung with some of them not having working permits and all of that they should learn the language and get a job and those coming from outside can come learn the language and get a job based on how many points they've acquired right that is it so we'll get into the details in the coming week 
and also I'm, I promise you the video on Von Eigentum für Familien we'll talk about that as well and what else yes now let me come to you with the announcement a lot of you have been asking but now the good news is yes we have the website the phoebeway.de where there is going to be information at the same time also there's going to be the possibility for you to book services when it comes to coaching on life in Germany which um, behörde should I go to which lawyers are available which lawyer is good when it comes to Asylrecht which lawyer is good when it comes to um, getting divorced or getting married in Germany and things are just taking their time which lawyer can help me with this and that some of you may know some of you may not know because I'm a legal interpreter I work with lawyers I know lawyers and I see how they are working so and I have contact to them as well sometimes you because you don't know which lawyer to approach you, may, you might go to a lawyer who is specialized in divorce but you actually need somebody for criminal law and then they would then switch you and all of that but because I am in that field and I have the contact and the connect I'm going to help you with connecting to lawyers especially in southern Germany because this is where I am also, you don't have to be in Southern Germany for you to be able to get into contact with me or to be able to um, enjoy our services. If you need um, somebody to help you write a letter or understand a letter, read it to you and explain things to you. Because sometimes the German is German, but it is more complex because the wording is different. And that is where I'm going to help you or we are going to help you to break the language down and explain to you what is asked of you if you have to respond or reply if you want to write a letter to any kind of office authority yes we help with that as well so that is it coaching and counseling life in germany moving to germany of course for this johnson carter that has come up a lot of questions are open if you also want to come to germany to study things that we cannot cover we also have contacts and connect with other companies other consultancies other lawyers, legal practitioners who can help you do that and do that swiftly and smoothly, right? Yes, so if you need an interpreter to come with you to a Behörde and you don't speak regular English, you need somebody who speaks pidgin and can understand what is going on and tell you what is happening, yes, I'm the girl for you, I'm your plug. Just contact us on the phoebeway.de, go through our services, see which one fits to your um situation if you don't know what to look out for just fill in the contact form and i'll let you know which service to book all right so that is the announcement and i'm so happy i'm so excited and i'm counting on your support to support your girl at the same time i'm excited because finally i'm going to be able to reach those who need me or I'm going to be able to be reachable and available to those who need me because the dms are full but with this there's going to be structure and i'm looking forward to that yes we have come to the end of today's video if you have any other questions do not hesitate as i said now if you want to reach me it's the phoebe way .de. if you want to email me it's at info at the phoebe way .de. yes so from the month of July, that is also another update and see you guys pretty soon. Just from the month, this, this month of July, we're going to see a lot of content from us. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are following us on all other social media platforms and have a good one. Bye.